<laughs> Let's see this. Let's see if I can grab one. Grab it. Drop it down right there. Is that one? This one? Right off the bat. First cast. What? These guys can't catch a bluegill. Okay, okay. I'll come over and get one right away. <laughs> got to tease with them. Sid just got one. There's two. Oh. We're going to have ourselves a little fish fry. Well, he's going to eat some. I don't think I'm going to. My stomach's hurting. But we'll see. Can't get him to bite the fly. So I'm going to see what I can do with it. We switched pulls up. I told you to bring it here ten times. Right away on the fly. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> what is the fly there? There is number three. Did you have anything on the fly? Did you have anything on the fly? Uh, I had my bobber to go under. No, we don't have to go under. As soon as you see them moving it like I just set the hook. Okay, just go back real fast. Just go easy. Huh? Just go easy. There we go. There's a good one out further there. Yeah, he's a good one. Just like the others. Can we land him? Yes. There we go. These guys? No. Ava got one. We switched up that fly. Fly wasn't doing too good today. I got a couple on the fly, but it seems like there's not. I caught one of my fish on cast. Working too well. Can you take this one? Walk over here with me. Yeah. Call me somebody I know. As soon as I shut it off, <laughs> she got one. Nice. Let me see, one. he is, he's not, honestly, he's not <laughs> terrible. Yeah, he's a little bit. Oh, he come off. Yeah. Be careful, watch the fins. Oh, wow, you got a monster. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. I think that's good on keeping. Yeah. I'm going to make a to catch Last cast. Yeah, that was definitely my last cast of the day. Alright. Are we done? Ah, oh, come on. Are you serious? One more last cast. Yes, there you go. There we go, on oh, the last, last cast. Oh, are you serious? Just gonna throw him in the bucket. Look, that's a sign that it's time to go home. <laughs> Hooked itself on the eye and everything. That's funny. Well, 
I guess I probably should get moving. I gotta clean these guys still, and it's getting kind of late. Let's go. Okay, guys, it's time to start up the cleaning process. Bonk this guy in the head, kill him. The only thing is, is my knife's been sticking, the lock button sticks on it, and, I, and the blade will stay on. bled these guys out so I didn't have such a big mess, but it still will. That's a little bit rusty. Take the skin off. Right. Looks like so. And then obviously we're gonna wash this guy off and then we want a daylight. But there we go. Cut the rib bones out. And we are good. And then just need rinsed off with some nice cold water. Oh, it's Daisy, get out of here. She'll be over here trying to eat them. The blade just doesn't seem like it wants to do much today. Need to get a new blade. Seems like a lot of fish with this thing. the colors on that thing can you guys see that it's got some nice yellow in them beautiful Skin in the bag, flip over, repeat. Make them off water. Okay. There we go. We're going to cut the rib bones out. I'm going to stop filming. Pretty basic procedure. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at the grill. Check out the colors on this guy, man. He's a good looking fish. Wish there was more light. You could probably see better. Okay, guys. Now that a whole bunch of time has passed. It's time to begin cooking. Let's get it. Yes. So do you want to grab some salt? Yeah. Thank you. And a plate, maybe? I love this grill. This grill is very nice. Thunder. Boom. Okay. Oh. Use this little piece here. I can't tell if it's going to storm or if it's, I don't hear no actual thunder, just lightning so far. A little bit of oil in there. I don't want to use too much up. We're not cooking a whole lot. Okay, guys, we got this here, Kentucky Kernel Seasoned Flour. I've never used this stuff, but 
we just ran in the Dollar General. We were in a hurry, run out of time. This is all they had, so we're gonna make it work. Let's see. Okay, I had to get a little help from some scissors. Let's uh, let's just try that on my meat. Batter it up. You could. Hoping this isn't a fail. Time is it, Sid? Uh, like 9.25 ish. Oh, yeah, it just smells so good. I don't know if you guys can really see that good or not, but we've been in there for about two minutes, so we're gonna give a flip here and. Okay guys, we are still frying. We got some lightning. Is. Sid is gonna give us a test bite. Try. See how these taste. Oh. Play hot, be careful. Well. That's really good. Tastes good? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try a piece now after Sid does. Wow. Good bud? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try. Okay. Alright, here we go. Just a little tiny piece here. I messed a couple cuts up but I still got smaller pieces of meat off of them. And there's some real good fillets too. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not bad. I've had better, but it's not bad. That's what I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I've had better, but it's still pretty good. This stuff is a-okay. Crunchy. Nice crunch coat to it. We'll have to try that with something else. Yeah. It's good. Okay. I'm gonna finish cooking. Let's try. Mm, it was hard. Very good. <laughs> I love that. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. As you can see, the kids, they love the bluegill. I love them myself. Like, they're one of my favorite fish to eat. They're so good. But thanks for watching, guys.